Your bottom bracket. It's an integral part of your bike, hidden away in the bottom of your frame, often forgotten about. That is, until you go to replace it and realise it's stuck. If you've ever suffered from a seized bottom bracket, you'll know just how frustrating it is trying to remove it from your bike. So in this video, we're going to show you how to remove a seized bottom bracket out of your bike and most importantly, out of your life. One of the first things you're going to need to do is to identify which type of bottom bracket your bike has got fitted. There are press fit ones like this and there are threaded ones like this. Broadly speaking, bikes tend to move towards press fit bottom brackets, although many of older type bikes still use threaded bearings too. Now, depending on which bottom bracket you have, you're going to need a couple of different tools to remove them and reinstall them correctly. For threaded bottom brackets such as this one here, to remove these you need to use the corresponding tool that fits onto the outside splines here. Now this tool has got splines on the inside that marry up to this, like so, and will allow you to remove the bottom bracket. There are a few different standards for this, so it's important to check with your manufacturer which one you have. A press fit bottom bracket is removed using a tool such as this. This is inserted through the bottom bracket and then you hit the end of this, these splines here will then push out the corresponding side of the bearing. Now to install a press fit bottom bracket, we need to use a slightly different tool. A tool such as this, this is a bottom bracket bearing press. There are a few different inserts which go on here to fit to the correct size of bottom bracket and then you wind this on like this and that will press in the bottom bracket nice and securely making sure you don't damage the frame on the way. Now there is a third bottom bracket type which I haven't mentioned and it's almost a combination of the threaded and press fit style. Now this interacts with the frame in the same way as a press fit bearing but in the centre you use a thread which is wound onto itself to pull the bearing carefully into the frame. Now as I mentioned earlier, there are a few different tools that you might need for your bottom bracket type and if you're unsure which is best for your bike, it might be best to contact your local bike shop or check with your manufacturer as there's quite a few different options. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's crack on with getting this stuck bottom bracket out. Now there are only actually a few reasons that will cause a bottom bracket to seize in place. Now for threaded bottom brackets, there's generally only two reasons for this. First off is that the grease has washed out over time or when it was installed, nobody put any grease on it in the first place. Now, if there's no grease on the threads, that'll effectively cause the thread of the bottom bracket to fuse with the thread on the frame, making it practically impossible to move. Now, the second reason for this could be that whoever installed the bottom bracket actually over-tightened it. Now, bottom brackets have a pretty high torque setting as it is, somewhere between 35 and 55 Newton meters. So, it can be over-tightened, but let's face it, it's going to be pretty tough to do that. Now press fit bottom brackets can be seized for a number of different reasons, different to threaded bottom brackets. Now press fit bottom brackets rely heavily on tight manufacturing tolerances of both the frame and the bottom bracket itself here. Now if either one of these are not quite right, it's going to make removing the bottom bracket trickier than it should be. The second reason your press fit bottom bracket might be seized in the frame is that whoever's installed it in the first place has not quite fitted it correctly and it's not sat square within the frame. So some manufacturers recommend applying a small bit of locking compound onto the outside edge of the bottom bracket. This will make it tricky to remove. Now it's important to remember that when removing a press fit bottom bracket from a carbon bike to take extra care, you will have to apply a fair bit of force to remove this and it's important not to damage the frame. Now we struggle to find a bike here at GCN with a seized bottom bracket because, well, all the presenters take such great care of them. So I've had to dig this bike out from the back of my garage. Now, there's absolutely no chance the bottom bracket has been changed probably in its lifetime. So let's crack on and get the bloody thing out. One of the first things you're going to need to do is to remove the cranks from your bike to gain access to the bottom bracket. Now if you don't know how to do this, we've got plenty of videos to show you how on the tech channel. Now you're obviously watching this video because your bottom bracket is seized. So one of the first things we're going to say to do is to go back to your original method of trying to remove the bottom bracket and quite simply find something like this to add more leverage to the tool you're using. Now, a piece of tubing like this is ideal. To be honest, any tubing or anything you can find at home in your garage or workshop that's gonna slide over the tool you're currently using and allow you to increase the leverage. Now, if you don't have anything suitable at home to increase the leverage of the tool, you do have another option. You can simply take the tool off of the bike, fit the tool into a vise, and use the bike itself as the lever to twist and remove the bottom bracket. Now with press fit bottom brackets, there's only really one way of increasing the force that you can apply and that quite simply is with a bigger hammer. Now a bigger hammer like this is going to really increase the force you can apply to the bottom bracket but you are going to have to be a little bit careful to make sure you don't create any damage to the frame. 
Now on a quick note, when using a large hammer such as this, you are going to increase the stress that goes all the way up through the frame and to the seat post where it's attached to the stand. Now, to avoid risking any damage to the frame or the seat post, it's important to try and support the frame as best as you can. Now you can do this using the side of your hip, or if you're lucky enough to have a friend nearby, get them along to give you a hand too. You're going to need to apply a little bit more force than what Ollie has done. Now if you're too civilised for sheer brute force, you're going to have to move on to something a little bit different. Now a penetrating fluid such as this Muckoff MO94 is going to be great at really working its way into those threads and freeing off those rusted parts. This can be sprayed directly down at the bottom bracket, or it can also be sprayed by removing the seat post and sprayed straight down and giving it a chance to soak in to free those threads off. Now it's important to apply enough penetrating fluid to really work its way into the threads. You can also spray it on and leave it overnight to really work its magic. Then we can go back with our long lever as we did before, applying that over the tool, really applying as much force as we can to really try and break this bottom bracket free. <sighs> yeah! So we've managed to get the bottom bracket out using penetrating fluid and our extra long leverage. Now, you may have read online about applying excessive heat to the bottom bracket area to really help loosen that seized bottom bracket off. This, however, is something that we certainly do not recommend, as there's a good chance you could damage your frame and invalidate any warranty you might have. Hopefully you've used a combination of these tips to defeat that seized bottom bracket. Now, it's not the most thrilling of jobs, least of all to do on a Sunday afternoon, so there's a few little tips we'll take you through to avoid this happening again. When installing a threaded bottom bracket, it's important to make sure the bottom bracket itself and the frame is free of any old grit and grime. Now, once you've got that nice and clean, we can apply our new grease to the bottom bracket and the frame itself, and that'll ensure it goes in nice and smoothly, trouble-free, and you'll have no problems with that in the future. When installing a press fit bottom bracket, a plastic one such as this may well require a small bit of retaining compound around the bearing faces just to help seat that correctly in the frame. Now if you're installing an aluminium press fit bottom bracket, sometimes you're best to apply a little bit of grease again around the face and that will help guide that into the frame just for trouble free fitment. Now all you need to do is refit the cranks, give the bike a quick once over to make sure everything's as it should and there you have a brand new bottom bracket ready for the next few years of riding. And most importantly of all, when it comes around to replacing the bottom bracket, it's going to be removed super easily with no stress at all. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's helped you get your seized bottom bracket out. Most importantly of all, giving you the information to make sure it doesn't happen again. Now if you've liked this video, give us a thumbs up and make sure you comment in the section below to let us know that you've enjoyed it. Whilst you're down there, why not let us know any maintenance videos that you'd like to see coming up. Thanks for watching.